Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show how to make colorful boxes for your planner, um, specifically for the classic vertical layout of um, from the Happy Planner. I'm going to show how to make some of those boxes, but once you know how I made these, you'll be able to make boxes for all the different sizes. So I'm going to show two different ways that you can do this. The first way is like the easiest way, and then the second way is going to be a little bit fancier. And um, actually, it's my preferred way of making the boxes now. So we're going to go over the first way. I'm right now in Cricut Design Space. I have a new project canvas set up. So I'm going to start making some boxes. The first thing you're gonna do is go over to this little icon that says shapes, click on that, and then you're gonna get a bunch of different shapes. All of these are free. So if you're not paying for the subscription, which I do have the subscription, so I also have access to all of these different types of shapes. Um, but honestly, I've never used any of these. I actually didn't even notice those were there um, until right now. But I focus on the free ones. So you don't have to pay the monthly subscription. You can use all of these for free um, with your in, in the Cricut Design Space. So I'm going to grab this one right here. I don't want, I don't really like rounded corners, but you could totally do the same thing with the rounded ones. But I like these right here. So I'm going to grab the square. Right now it's set to two by two. I already wrote down all the measurements for the boxes, which I just grabbed a ruler and I just measured each one so that way I could see which size fits in each of the little boxes. And that's something you can do in the mini and the horizontal. You can like measure out the boxes and sizes that you want. So um, I have the sizes. I'll make sure to like list them in the description, the ones that I used. Uh, we're gonna go over to the size. Right here you see this little lock it's, it's locked right now. So if I change one of these to a different number, like let's say a three, and I hit enter, it's just gonna automatically make the other side a three too. So it's gonna keep it more in like a square shape. We don't want that. We wanna be able to change it to more rectangular shape. So I'm gonna go over to the lock and hit unlock like that. And now I'll be able to change both sizes without it changing like automatically on me. So for a full size box, we're going to make the width 1.5 and then we're going to make the height 2.5. Okay. Um, and then that's going to be the size that fits perfectly in the vertical layout in the little box sections. All right. So the next thing that you can do is we're actually going to change this Oh, it's already on basic cut, so we don't have to change it. Just make sure it does say, actually print then cut. We're gonna change it to print then cut. Everything that we do is gonna be print then cut. Um, then the next thing that you can do is go over to this little color right here, and this is where you'll be able to change the color of the boxes. So if you like a lot of black boxes, you can make a ton of black boxes here. Or um, I love using like pinks. So you can use, they have this, this one, it's like a salmon-y pink. Or you can make your own by going over to advanced, like finding your own different shades by moving this around a little bit. If you want like a lighter pink color, I usually like these lighter pink colors. Um, you can get some blues. It's another one that I like using too, but like lighter colors like that. So you have a full range of colors in here that you can choose from. You can move this around too. To get some different colors as well so yeah lots and lots and lots of options let's make purple i like purple too all right so we got a purple box now right now this is just like the border part the colored part we do need another piece the actual white piece that goes on top of this so i'm going to grab another shape grab another one of these squares and do the same steps unlock this change the width to 1.5 change the height to 2.5 okay now the next thing you're going to do is make this white we don't want this to be um, this gray color so we're going to make it white and again change this to print then cut everything needs to be print then cut on here okay so we have this white piece obviously this is not right because it's going to fit it's going to cover this whole thing. So we need to make this a little bit smaller. So I would just go over here and just start going down one on each side, okay? Until you get to a point where you like 
the amount of color that's being shown through. You just place it on top of here. I like thin borders personally, so for me, that's enough color for me, but if you want a little bit thicker, you could just keep going down over here on the sides. It's all about preference, honestly. All right, so I'm actually gonna make a note for myself that I went down 0.2 on each side, and that's like the amount of this part that I want to show through. Like, I want this thin, a thin a little um, color around my box, okay? And so yeah, 0.2 on everything I'm gonna go down. So that way I keep it consistent on all my boxes. All right, so the next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna select both of these together, okay? And then you're gonna go to arrange, because I just placed this on top. I don't think I actually placed it perfectly on top. It doesn't look too bad, but I wanna make sure that it's like perfectly on top of this box. So I'm just gonna go all the way down here. These are the different align tools that you have in here. I'm just gonna go to center, so it centers um, this together. Okay, so it didn't move too much, but it did center this all, so it's perfectly symmetrical around each side. All right, so I'm going to select all on those two, and then I'm just going to attach and flatten this, okay? So now I have one box that is going to be, they're gonna, it's gonna print the color around the edge, and then it's gonna cut around this edge too, okay? All right, so one other thing I'm gonna add before I start making more boxes, I do wanna do one more thing. I should have done this at the beginning because um, this is something I usually do whenever I make sticker sheets is I grab another one of these boxes. Again, I use this square one so much in all of my um, sticker making stuff that I do on here. So this one, I'm gonna unlock it. I'm gonna change the size to Let's see, the width is going to be, um, 6.75, 6.75, and then the height is going to be 9.25. Now, what I'm doing right now is I'm making the size of the, that Cricut allows to print and cut on the machine. So right now, I'm gonna just place all the stuff I make on this little mat. It's, I'm gonna end up getting rid of it. It's just a little placeholder for me to know where to put stuff or to arrange stuff. And that way I'm getting the most out of the sheet that I can print. Um, so I'm gonna send this to the back. I want it in the very, 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 very back um, of this sheet. So that way everything will just go on top of this. Okay, so I'm just start arranging my boxes on here. Again, this is just a little placeholder for me, a little reminder of like how big the space is that I'm allowed to print and cut. And I'm just gonna arrange all of my boxes. So I'm gonna actually take this box right here and I'm gonna go, on my, I, I use a Mac, so it's Command C. If you use a PC, it's Control C. But use your, um, your commands to cut and then copy or sorry, copy and then uh, paste a new one if you want duplicates of this. Say you want more than just one of these. So I'm gonna go copy and then co command V for paste. So now I have two of them, right? Some different sizes now. I already have the, the boxes that'll fit perfectly in each section. I do wanna make a sidebar size too. So I'm gonna grab another box Take this one, I'm gonna change this one. The width on these are always gonna be 1.5. Yeah, okay, so 1.5. And then the height on this one is gonna be five, okay? That's that long sticker. And then this, I'm gonna make into the purple. It does save the color that you use so you don't have to like go and figure out what color it is that you, you picked last time. Um, I'm gonna change this to print then cut, okay? So I have the out, the outline part, okay? Now I'm gonna grab another one. It's just doing the same thing, stacking these on top of each other, changing this to white, making this into print then cut, changing the size, which I'm gonna start off with the, the size I start, that this is, this purple one is, which is 1.5 to um, five. But I already know I'm gonna decrease it too. So I'm gonna just go down two and two, okay? 
because that's my preferred thickness around these boxes. That's what I like. Um, and then I'm just going to align, center these just in case it wasn't centered all the way and then attach and flatten these. And I have a sidebar sticker here. Um, let me do a um, a, a half, I'm sorry, a double box. I'm gonna do a double box really quick. That one is going to be, double box size is three. Okay, this one won't be 1.5 because it's a double box. But um, this one is going to be the width is three, and then the height is 2.5, okay? Again, I just went and I measured all of these, so very easy to figure that out on your own if you have a ruler, um, which if you don't, you can get one really cheap at the store. Uh, but yeah, really, really cheap. So these, um, I'm just gonna make this one, the width is going to be, for this double box, it's going to be 2.8 because I'm just going down to 0.2 on each side of these. And then the height is going to be 2.3. Okay. I'm just going to stack these a little bit off center so you can see. I'm actually going to make this into print and cut too. Um, so you can see how it arranges it because I've been kind of doing it a little bit. It seems like it's been fine every time that you can see it. Okay, so I'm going to do centered. Oops. Do these here, and then I'll do a line center. Okay, so that way it pushed it down and it centers it onto the box. Okay, so these I'm going to just attach and flatten, and then just stick this over here. Um, I'm just gonna make a bunch of other boxes, so I'm going to make some half boxes, but it's the same thing, as, and I'll have all the sizes down in the description. So, but it's the same steps. It's just, you know, combining everything, sizing everything, downsizing everything, and then putting them all over here. So I'm gonna just try to fill up this whole page so you can see how many boxes you can get on here. I added a bunch of boxes. I tried to fill this in as much as I could um, and just kept it within this gray, dark gray square or rectangle. So I got all the boxes and I did a variety of boxes. I like to have all types of different ones. Now if you want to, because um, we don't really need this anymore, I'm gonna put it off to the side just in case. But um, you could go in here and like arrange things because these are kind of like off-centered. You can align them to the left just to make it a little bit more like symmetrical and it just looks nicer. <laughs> but if you don't really mind if it's like a little bit off, then you can keep it as it is. But sometimes it's nice to align these align oops I totally do these okay align to the left or the right on this side so things are like lined up here we can align these um, to the left we can align these together too to the left yeah we can align these to the bottom like that and then we can align these top ones to the top okay so everything is a little bit more straight which is nice and then I'm just gonna double check make sure everything still fits within this area yeah it looks good I'm actually gonna get rid of this I don't need it anymore so we'll just delete that okay so I'm gonna send this to print just so you can see what happens because right now we have it all pretty and it's nicely organized it's nicely aligned but if I send it to print to make now it's gonna sort it like its own special way which you could totally do this if you want to but it does help to like condense things a little bit more which is nice sometimes it will use like two different pages this one actually didn't to do it too bad which is nice but sometimes it's it, it doesn't look good or it, it uses too many pages so I like to before I send it to print oops sorry this one's all over the place I'm just going to select all of them and I'm just going to attach them. Yes, so it's all together, but it's actually going to cut out every single piece, which is what we want. So all these pieces will be cut out individually. 
All right, so now I'm going to, now that this is all together, I'm gonna send this to print. I'm gonna make it continue. Actually, let me open this up all the way. Okay, oh, actually you won't see it if I do that. So if it's not open all the way, then the print dialog box won't show up. It'll be behind, but that's okay. So I'm gonna go continue, send to printer. Um, take off bleed. I never use bleed. Use a system dialog box and then print. And I'm printing on print uh, sticker paper, which I'll have linked down in the description. Uh, I'm just going to do normal, but I usually do best, but since this is just for a tutorial, I'm not going to use best. But always use best when you're printing your stickers because that has the best quality and it doesn't get like kind of spotty looking so that yeah definitely always print on best but I'm just gonna print on normal for this one so print and then it'll send it to my printer to print and then I just have to connect my my Cricut and then it will I will cut this out okay so this is what it's gonna look like once it's printed so I got all of my boxes I try to use as much of the print space that it allows for which is why I like doing that print and cut area that I ended up deleting because it's just a nice little reference. Now I'm going to put this in my Cricut and put the mat in with the sticker with the sticker paper that I just printed on. I'm going to make sure it's connected. Obviously, it's connected. I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna choose washi sheet. For me, this is the best setting, but make sure you you know you have to kind of play around with your machine to know which setting to use. So washi sheets work, works for me, and I'm on less. Those are the settings that I use. I just wanted to share. The settings that I use, maybe you could try those out if you're having issues with it um, not cutting right. All right, so here is the sheet after it's been cut. Can't really tell that it's cut, but it is cut. I can already tell that maybe my alignment is a little bit off. They just did an update and they said they made improvements to the aligning, like trying to um, fix the alignment. So I might have to realign my machine because I already noticed that some of these are a little bit, they're, printing, they're cutting a little bit off. So as you can see, I have like a little white line there, which, you know, it is what it is. I'm making my own boxes and I do put it on white paper, so it's not going to be as noticeable, but I've never actually had them cut this way like that bad in a long time. So again, I probably do have to um, like recalibrate my machine to make this, um, yeah, a little bit more, not so off centered, but the next little way that I'm going to show how to make boxes might help this little situation that's going on right here. So um, what I'm gonna do is, yeah, these are all the boxes, they're all cut, which is nice. They're a little bit off, but you know what, it's okay. It's not bad for considering that you can make your own boxes, so I'm not gonna put this back on. All right, so yeah, those are all the boxes. Now I'm gonna show the other way that I like do, making the boxes. Quicker, I just have to show you one, a couple of extra steps. Aside from doing these, this is all the same, making the boxes is the same, but there are a few extra steps on this one. I did bring this box back, the one that I used to um, align over here, but I actually rotated it the other way, so that way the long end was on the top and then the shorter end was on this side, okay? Um, I'm going to actually, I only want half of this size right now, which again, you'll see in a bit why I'm doing this, um, but I'm gonna do, I'm telling you, this is like the fancier, a little bit fancier way of making the boxes. And I'm gonna actually duplicate these, so I have two of them now, like this, right? I'm gonna have two, okay? So I'm just gonna leave these. These are gonna be my little template. Now I'm gonna take these boxes, I'm gonna detach them, so that way they're separate again. And I'm just gonna start, oops, I have to I have to put these to the back actually. Arrange, send to back. That's why I couldn't put them on top because they were on the front. So I'm gonna arrange, send to back. And then that way I could start putting them over here, kind of like um, arranging them to see if, what I can fit over here. All right. So um, before I start arranging everything, the extra step that I'm going to do for these boxes is I'm going to add another outline of the purple. Because as you can see with the sticker sheets that I printed, I had like a white, an extra white piece on the side 
Um, and I kind of want these to be more like when you get a sticker book and you pull them off of there and it has that extra remaining colored piece going around the sticker. I want to kind of do that in here. Now, unfortunately, the Cricut doesn't have an actual function like a, in this program to do that. I think Silhouette does, but Cricut doesn't. So you kind of have to trick the machine into doing this, which is always a lot of fun. So um, what I'm going to do is we'll start with the with this size right here, this square one, okay, because it'll be a little bit easier. I'm going to grab another one of these. It's just a lot of layering in these types of situations. And again, it's a little bit fancier. It's going to be a little bit more time consuming, but I like taking the time to do this now that I know this little trick. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to make this. This box was 1.5 by 1.5, so I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger. So I'm going to go 1.7, and we'll see if that's can. Oops, sorry. I did the wrong box, my bad. That one's gonna stay 1.5. I wanna change this one to 1 1.7, okay? So it's a little bit bigger than this one, um, which I'm gonna make purple so it matches. I'm gonna change this to print then cut, and I'm going to send, right now it's in the front, I wanna send this back. Oh, I think it might be easier if I do it over here. Okay, so let's bring this one forward. You just want this one, yeah, to be in front of it like this, okay? So that way it lays on top, and I think actually I might go a little bit bigger, point eight, just to be safe. So it has like a border around it. It has more of that um, extra piece around it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start arranging these on here. Now, you won't be able to get as many stickers because... Obviously, this is going to take up more room now, but you can kind of get these close to each other if you want. Um, let's see this one. I can make another one. I'm going to try to fit as many as I can on here. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to just do another one. I'm going to do this size now, okay? So this one's going to be shapes. Okay, this one is 1.5 by 0 0.75 so I'm going to change this size 1.5 to 0 0.75 okay but I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so I'm going to go up three and up three over here I think actually that might be pretty good let's send this let's send this one to the front bring to front okay and then I'm just gonna change this color to the purple make it a print thing cut and then start arranging them over here like that okay so I'm just making the background color right now and I'm just gonna do as many as I can fit on here I'm gonna do as many of those on these two gray rectangles see make sure that they fit on here and um, in the last tutorial on how I sh oh before when I had these boxes I got rid of them and this one I'm not going to get rid of them I'm actually going to let me get it um and I actually first let me um let me change the color of this background just so you can see a little bit better I'll make it gray okay so I'm going to make this into white because I'm actually it's actually going to be part of what I print what what's going to be cut and all that so this is going to be white. I'm just going to do a print and cut on that one. Do the same thing to this one too. Make it white. Make it print and cut. Oops, print and cut. Okay. Um, and now I'm just going to take this whole one right here and attach it and flatten it. Okay. So now, as you can see over here, it's all on one sheet. And then I'm just going to take this one, do the same thing, attach it and flatten it. So now they're all together because I just want them to print. I just want the machine to print the color. I don't want them, I don't want it to cut out each individual box on here because we don't want that. We just want these boxes to be cut. So now, I, I hopefully this isn't too confusing. But again, I think once you know how to do the first way of making boxes, this will come a little bit more, e a little bit more natural. So I'm just going to change this back to white so I can see. Okay. So, um... We have the box here and we have this here, okay? 
So I'm going to start arranging these on top. Now right now it's on the back, so all you have to do is arrange, bring it to the front, and then you'll be able to um, put these all on top of these. Okay, just kind of just go over here, bring to front, and just start arranging them. Oops, actually this one goes over here. Arrange to front, and just start layering them on top of each of these areas, front, like that, okay? So yeah, do that to all the boxes, just start putting them, like these go over here on this one. Actually, let me just put this all the way to the back. Okay, that'll, that'll save me some time. And then these go over here, this one goes here, this one goes here, this one goes here. Not that one there. Oh, I have one of those. Oh, I have some square ones that can align here. A square one. Oh, let me bring this one to the front or the back. Arrange to the back. So yeah, you're just layering the boxes all on top until you have all of these have a white piece in front of it. The boxes on top of the colored ones. So now I have two sheets. The next thing I'm going to do right now is just select this one right here. I'm going to attach, don't flatten them because if we do, it's just going to put them all together and we don't want that. I'm going to do the same over here, attach. And then I'm just going to bring these kind of close together because I'm going to attach these two. Um, I'm going to align it on the top first so that way they match up here. And then I'm going to attach here too. So that way it's just one yeah one piece okay so I have them together like that all right so I'm gonna go make it now all right so you can see everything is on one sheet which really helps to maximize your print and cut area um, and then I'm going to go to continue and this is the same steps I'm gonna print it I'm gonna cut it and then you're gonna see how this one turns out differently all right, so here's the difference of the two sheets that I did. This was the first one where it's just a regular way of printing and cutting. And then this was the second one where I kind of layered them. So that way I can make sure I don't have any of this white part showing. So this one right here, let me take this one off right here. You can see I will have some of the sticker sheet. And I think next time I won't make it as thick. Again, that's something you play around with too. But at least I won't ever have any white showing like this one has right here. Oh, I can't grab it because it's too difficult. <laughs> but you can kind of see the white there, and then I don't have white here. So that's why I like doing this technique. Again, I'm going to make these a little bit thinner. I'm not going to go as thick on the border because I don't think I need to. I think that's kind of wasted a little bit. And then also I'll have more space to write to um, put in boxes. All right, and the other cool thing is, which you can't really tell very much on here, but there is a cut line. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to see it. You can kind of see it around the boxes. So I'm just going to use that as a guide to cut. Oh, you can kind of see it here, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, it's hard to see. <laughs> Sorry, the lighting's really bad right now. Um, but there's a little, little cut line right there that I'm going to use as a guide to with my paper trimmer to cut these out. Alright, so when I was saying I was going to cut it out, I wanted to cut it out to a sheet like this so that way I can put it into my little sticker album books that I have, which is a nice way to organize all of the stickers that you make. So that's why I like doing this where I can make them into these type, this size um, on the Cricut so that way I know I'm going to have the right size to fit in these little slots right here. Fits nicely in this section and then it'll be good to go. All right, so that's gonna be my little tutorial on how to make boxes for your planner. Again, both ways are great. Um, if you wanna go with this easier route, that's always a great way to do it. I just like this way because I know I'm not gonna get any white pieces, which is always nice. Um, again, I probably will recommend going down, not making the border as thick because I made it really, really, really thick in this tutorial, but I, would, I wouldn't make it as thick. But other than that, I think these came out very nice. I love the color. So hopefully I was able to inspire you to use your Cricut to make some colorful boxes for your planner. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you all in the next one.